वेलकम टू आवर चैनल जी आई एस सिम्प्लीफाइड बाय एजुकेशन टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज जी आई एस एंड बेजिक कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ इट लेट एस स्टार्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द टर्मिनोलॉजीज हियर जी स्टैंड फॉर जोग्राफी जोग्राफी इज नथिंग बट अ स्टडी ऑफ लैंड इनहेबिटेंट्स एंड ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑन द सर्फिस ऑफ द अर्थ I stands for information. Information talks about details of the features on the surface of the earth. For example, name of a building is an information. S stands for system. System is technology and methods that are used to capture objects on the earth surface and combine it with the information gis is an acronym for geographical information system academically it is a computerized mechanism to capture store display query and analyze geographic data there are two data types involved in gis system spatial data and a non spatial data let us understand spatial data in more detail location or extent of geographic features are stored as a spatial data for example location of taj mahal or a road network from ahmedabad to delhi or administrative boundary of any state in non spatial data information is stored mostly in a tabular format it is also called an attribute data for example year of construction of taj mahal length of the road or a population of a state spatial data can further be divided into three different type of objects it can be point line or a polygon these are the three components of a spatial data let us understand point any object which does not have width or length it can be represented by a point for example location of a hospital in a city can be represented by a point line any object which is having sufficient length but no width is stored as a line for example a state highway running across the cities an object which is large enough and covering an enclosed boundary is stored as a polygon for example a state boundary in a map non spatial data is also called attribute information it is mostly stored in a tabular format in the database there are various data types that are supported for example name of the building is stored as a text height of the building will be stored as a numeric and then construction date will be stored in date boolean is also one type of data type the basic building block of a gis system is layer layer is nothing but logical grouping of similar objects so gis system allow us to capture each feature that is available on the earth into separate layers for example customers can be combined into a separate layers same way buildings streets and land use can be captured into separate layers ultimately gis system will allow us to display all these layer on top of each other and then we will be able to rebuild the ground reality in digital platform let us talk about components of gis basically there are five components of gis first component is a hardware that is the server and computers that we use for running the gis application second component is nothing but the software a software with best suitable functionalities is always required to meet the end user requirement third component is the most important component that is data gis is like any other system garbage in garbage out kind of a system so quality of data is very important next component is the people who use the gis system who manage the data who update the data so people plays a very critical role in keeping the data up to date last component is nothing but the procedure 
standard set of procedures and methodology help us in creating and maintaining GIS system up to date. So we will keep it up to this point. Thank you for watching the channel. Share your feedbacks to improve upon. Thank you.